Live from backstage at Hangout Fest, Hangout Radio is on the air. Presented by Alexander Shannara and Associates, the attorneys of tomorrow here for you today. Cyclops Vapor, legendary e-liquid, Jenny King of the Gulf Coast, Gulf Quest National Maritime Museum, and brought to you in part by... First Band, and we have got a full day planned here on... Uh, on Hangout Radio, and with me is, is Jack. Right? Yes, <laughs> I've got everybody's list. I wasn't sure it was going. Nice. And Jack from uh, Foles. Now, you guys got together in Oxford, England. Is yes, that where you were all all of you are from. Yes, we did. Did you guys grow up together, or was it? Um, I met Yanis when I was about uh, seventeen. He's uh, he's our singer, and uh, we were in a band, uh, kind of more of a punk band. Um, very sort of experimental, uh, sort of math, math rock kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, when we were 17, 18, uh, and then I met I met Walter at college, and then we kind of all sort of, kind of met around that time. Um, and we've you know it's been the same same bunch of guys since 2006 now. Really? Yeah. And you guys have, have four CDs out, is that true? Yes. Okay, and plus some extended mixes and yeah, and other things. Now the fourth CD, uh, what went down, came yep. out a few months ago. And Mountain at My Gate is the single that we've been playing off of it and that ev the whole world has taken awesome. to. Tell me about that song because that the lyrics just, it, it invokes so many uh, different images. Like there's a mountain at my gate. I mean, it's like yeah. every time I go outside, it's like boom. <laughs> um, well, that song kind of, um, like the main um, uh, like uh, sort of verse section um, that the song starts with, Yanis, uh, he, it's one of those things that came totally naturally. He just he just wrote it, and it was like, I've got this thing. Um, and it took a while to to work out how we were gonna turn this one part into a song. And we had another. Um, we were kind of working on another song actually, which ended up being the sort of end section where it builds and gets super fast. Right. And we were kind of like, okay, so we haven't got we haven't got an end for this song, and we haven't got a beginning for this one, and we tried it together, and it just felt super and right. That's how it kind of came. Yeah. together. Were they both in the same key when you put them? Uh, I believe they were, but you're asking the drummer, so that's yeah. probably not the best guy to ask. Uh, no, nah, man, drummers. I mean, look at Neil Peart. <laughs> yeah. Well. You know, but the, uh, and so it was those two songs that were came together, and that's how this song came about. Now, yeah. when you guys are writing, is it usually one person that comes up with whatever it is, or is it? A collective, so to speak. Um, it kind of varies from uh, song to song. Um, we still write uh, a lot of our songs in like a very much kind of uh, traditional setting of just having the five of us in a room and mm -hmm. just kind of trying things out. Um, but a lot of songs start in you know totally different ways. Like in the past, a few songs like uh, Miami off our second record came from a drum beat that I'd been playing around with and then we started jamming it and Yanis and Jimmy were just putting guitar ideas down and then that just kind of came together. Sometimes, uh, especially with the slower songs, like Yanis and Jimmy will uh, come up with a chord sequence and sometimes even on the, on the Rhodes piano um, and it's super simplistic and then we kind of build on top of that. Um, and then we just mix it up with different combinations of the band members working together at, at different times. So it, there's no like real like formula for the way we write. What about when you tour? Who comes up with the set lists usually? I feel like we argue about set lists a lot more than a lot of bands that are, really? you know 11 weeks into a tour do. Yeah, I feel you know no one's like I'll do whatever. Who cares? It's always right down to the last minute. It's like well this worked last night, but this didn't. Let's try this. Tr try moving this around. Um, I do feel like we spend a lot of time trying to sculpt the shape of the set, the set, so it's kind of its most exciting, you know, presentation. Now, you guys are playing tonight at 9:15 in the Boom Boom tent. Yes. Have you decided what set list you're playing tonight? Well, I think because we're playing in quite a predominantly dance music tent, I think we're going to have to sort of up the energy levels to maybe a set that we might normally play. I think we might add a few sort of heavier, faster songs in just to get the crowd really sort of juiced up. You Getting know. it boom booming. Yeah, it's got to yeah. go boom booming. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Drummers love that, right? Yeah, I mean, it's my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. Now, have you guys played Hangout before? Or have you played the Southeast? Month? No, um, this is our very first time at uh, this festival. Um, we, I don't think we've played, I actually don't think we've played Alabama before. Um, we've, we've been playing a lot of places we haven't played before in the South recently. Um, but it's still kind of a new a new place to us because I think um, 
you know when you when you first start touring America you kind of hit like the coasts and then sort of work your way across and on it's this record where we've really sort of delved into the rest of America and it's been really exciting for us to kind of go to all these new cities yeah what's been your favorite so far I've got to say, I had a really, really lovely time in Myrtle Beach the other day. Up um, in, oh, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, South Carolina. Oh, my God. It was so nice. It's awesome. Um, you know, I saw a lot of turtles. We went to the alligator sanctuary, uh, ate some crab, like all the stuff you'd want to do on the day off. Absolutely. <laughs> and at Myrtle Beach, they have this, uh, I don't know if they told you about this, but they have the state dance, which is called the shag, which means completely different things the over shag. in England than it does here. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody shags in Myrtle Beach. Oh, it's, okay. It's wow. to Carolina Beach music. I wish. I've got a t-shirt saying that. <laughs> yeah, and take that home? Yeah. 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 Get some funny looks back I got home. I shagged in Myrtle Beach or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That would be amazing. <laughs> right, thank you so much for coming by today. No, no, thanks for having me. Absolutely. It's Hangout Radio. We're backstage with Foles playing tonight in the Boom Boom Tent. And from the album, um, the new one, which is called What Went Down, this is Mountain at My Gate. It's Foles on Hangout Radio, powered by 9... <laughs>